This week's exciting session is on Prince 2, Make Your Projects Even More Successful. Our expert presenter today is Daniel Morris, Professional Services at Polarian. Today's agenda will be first a small introduction. I will say something about Polarian Software, who we are, what we do. But then really quickly, we will go into Prince 2. I will give you an overview about what Prince 2 is, about Prince 2's principles, the themes in Prince 2, processes, and also about project environment. So these are really important topics at Prince 2. So if you don't know Prince 2 yet, you might get us an overview about Prince 2, and then we will have a look how Polarian support Prince 2, because that's also really important for us, that if you want to create projects based on Prince 2, that you can use it or you can do that in Polarian and how we support it. Why do we need PRINCE2? Well, what we can see is projects are currently still failing. In the past, as you can see, let's say about 1996, more than 40% of projects were failing. So they weren't successful at all. They needed to be stopped because they were failing. Currently, well, we've got about 24% of projects are still failing. Successful projects are currently more than 30%, so it's already really good, so it's getting better. As you can see, it was much worse in 1994. A lot of projects were less than 20% of projects were successful, so we're doing better now, but still not fine, because we also have this third part, we've got really challenging projects where it's not that easy to fulfill all the needs of the customer, for example, that it has been successful at the end. And well, the goal in my point of view should be to have more, lots of more successful projects than challenging or even failing projects. And for this, you might need, for example, something like Prince2 or in connect, maybe also in connection with Polarian software. So, but what is a project? Well, a project, for example, are used to have some change, to add something into your company or to fulfill something for a customer. You have, so you have some changes. That's one part of project, what projects are. Projects are always temporary, so, after some time, you have some start date and an end date. If the project is finished, you might get into the next project or you might get back to your daily work. Projects are also interdivisional. So it could be that persons from different kind of, different kind of parts of the company are working together to make this change, to work on this project. A project is always also unique because the main, main parts of the project might be similar, but all, there's always something which is unique. You might have different kind of teams inside of different projects. You might have other customers. The location of the project might be completely different. So that's also really important what defines a project. And also, projects can be unsafe, as we've seen in the previous slides. It might be challenging. Projects are more risky than your standard work. So that's what defines a project, for example. Thank you for watching our webinar teaser. To view the full webinar, click on the link below in the video description. For other recorded webinars, visit polarian.com, click on the Events and Webinars tab, and click on Recorded Webinars. or take the next Polarian steps.